how I got a 500 kg total at 16 years old. Now, the squat and deadlift done in this video was like two days before my birthday or before I turned 17, but I mean, I was actually still 16 during them, so it still fucking counts. Going back a year, my total was like 310, um, my bench being like probably like 75, my squat was like 110 for five, so like I'll just give it like, I'll just give it like 120, and my deadlift was 120. It's increased a lot over the past year, and um, it comes down to like a lot of things. I went down to like the powerlifting programs I did, creatine intake, um, genetics as well, maybe some extra supplements that I probably won't go into this video for um, legal reasons. But overall, it's literally been like just the consistency and like just enjoying like working out in general and working out for strength as well. I don't know when you work out for like strength and stuff, you always have like set goals that you want to achieve and um it just motiv it just motivates me to actually go and do the programs and stick to it i guess that's like the most important thing to like actually enjoy working out or whatever you're doing really so you can like, actually just make some solid progress anyways going to my list now i'm gonna start with bench which is uh 120 and this was after a smaller cycle literally like three weeks of fucking hell to be honest on your chest and the bench for any other members of the gym because you just stayed there for like an hour basically like an absolute twat it did the job it literally did what it said it would do and um, increased my bench from 105 to 120 in like three to four weeks which was actually like shocking to me as well because i didn't really expect it to actually work i didn't know you could gain strength that quickly my bench since then has probably like decreased though um actually has it even i literally did like 105 for six i didn't record it it was my third set of a three by three for um, 105 but i literally just did a pr at the last set where i was fatigued so it was a bit stupid i didn't expect a pr so didn't even record it but i mean you just have to just you just have to take my word for it now onto my deadlift and quite shockingly i didn't go for one rep max i did rep 180 for two um, quite comfortably, uh, I'd say RP9 definitely had one more rep in the tank, maybe even 8.5, being fucking goofily scientific. And the reason why I didn't go for one was because my back was feeling a bit extended, so I didn't really go for one because I feel like it just destroyed my back. But looking back in the video, it was like all right, so I don't know why I just stopped. I just, I just, I just used my intuition, and um, it didn't really go well because obviously I could have just done more all in all i think my one rep max would be 190 um well it'd definitely be 190 because um because yesterday i tried a pr as well i went for 200 and i got it like halfway up but i just couldn't lock it out my back was pretty bent though it was like really bent if you can see it, if you can see it in the video but i'll definitely like get that soon so it's nothing to really worry about but the main thing to take away from this is that i definitely get 190 so we're just going to solidify it that it is 190 um at 16 as well now onto my squat i did this in a gym that um i previously got kicked out twice for um activities basically i just snuck in but um you know it's it's not a it's actually it's actually a really shit gym i don't know why i snuck into it for so long it's mostly because my friends go to it but moving forward i decided to record my warm-up squats as well just to see how it moved and to my pleasant surprise 160 moved up like it was thin air honestly that was like I was like tell her that I was gonna hit a PR. So the next warm-up set was 175 and it moved up well as well. Which was actually a massive shock and it really just it really just solidified the fact that I was gonna get a PR. The next clip is me doing 190 on squat successfully, believe it or not. My body weight is like 76 kg, 77 kg, so it's like it's actually 2.5 times my body weight, which is actually like mad to think about. Like that's two and a half times your body weight, and you're squatting that up and down. Bearing in mind, all three of the lifts were done during a cut, even the small lift bench, and that's designed for it to be on a calorie surplus because of how fucking brutal it is. And the squat and deadlift was done pretty recently, and I'm like at the peak of my cut, I'd say. Um, I'm probably going to go for like another two, three weeks at the max to just be more aesthetic, to get the attention of more men and not women. 
Uh, for the majority of the year, I was on a 531 program, and um, I'm not going to get into that, into like the specifics of 531, but it's it's just designed to give you more strength, basically. Another thing um, would be creatine. Um, I responded really well to creatine, actually. And I think like when I started it, uh, my bench was like 85, and it got up to like, what the fuck, this sun? You can see the fucking rays. This is not aesthetic. Okay, right. Anyways, uh, where was I? Bench. Uh, my bench was like 85 and it went to 100 in like a month, which is like, which is literally just insane. Like, that's literally like, it literally did the same as small of. And like speaking of genetics, I think it's like quite undeniable that I do have like pretty good strength genetics. And that's not me being egotistical. I think that's literally me being objective even because like, I don't really know like many other people that would have like added 200 kg to their total in like a year and that's with like pretty like shit programming because like because i went off like program like so many times just a pr so yeah i'm not gonna fault myself too much actually because like i feel like my work ethic is something that i'm really proud of and like i do work like really hard in the gym like on most lifts i would just go to failure and um, if i don't i feel kind of i feel kind of shit about myself i just feel like a bitch if i don't work hard at least in a workout but like my number one tip would just be to like enjoy working out and like because if you do enjoy it you will stay consistent to it and really like set yourself goals as well because i feel like if you don't have anything to like really strive towards you don't really have the motivation and i guess you could argue that like you don't need to be motivated all the time and like you should be disciplined anyway and having that goal i feel like if you don't have any goals you just won't really make as much progress as if you did i mean that that's probably common sense but but just have goals whether that be like aesthetic or like strength based um just have some sort of goal that you can like really strive towards unless you're just going to be really like demotivated and be like sad and confused and goofy and fucking silly but yeah that's how i got to 500 kg total in 16 um that was my shitty explanation to how i got there hopefully you liked the video um if you made it this far you may as well just subscribe and like and i don't know 